Well, this is Graham Calder from P3 Permaculture, and we're on site here in Costa Rica in a biodynamic farm. And we're right now in the citrus grove, so we're surrounded by mandarins, lemons, and other uh, citrus fruit trees. So, as you can see below this citrus fruit tree right here, when we get the heavy winds up here in this altitude of about a thousand meters, they're knocking fruit down constantly. And a lot of these fruit get infected with all kinds of insects that are going to increase the rotting of these fruit and most likely going to increase the, the um, problems that we have in the tree as well. So it's really important that we take these bad fruits and throw them into a compost pile. Now, it's really important that the compost pile is not a very close proximity to the actual citrus trees because if we create a breeding ground for these pests in this area, they're merely just going to come back into the citrus orchard as soon as they're going through their life cycle. So ideally you want to remove these rotting fruit from the area and when we make the compost pile itself, we don't want to just keep piling them like this. We need to have a proper ratio of carbon to nitrogen. So carbon is anything that's brown, this is full of carbon, and anything that's green or food waste is your nitrogen. So you need two parts of carbon, roughly, to one part of nitrogen. So for every orange you should be throwing twice as much brown matter into this pile and mixing it. it should be always mixed together. The more you mix it, the faster it'll break down. So that's our perma tip for uh, groves, orange, orange groves and compost piles. Check back with us for other perma tips at p3permaculture.ca.